The next part of the Control 24 that I'm going to go over is the counter. Now the counter basically allows you, this is very important with the grid and, and how you make your songs. Definitely in music production, learning, learning how to view everything within grids and to walk to the tempo is going to help you, you know, like pace certain things and achieve certain ways of making music. It's going to allow you to build your music along, you know, saying along like a spreadsheet and like, like add bars and move bars here and move verses here and do a lot of different effects. Now, viewing your, your session in a certain type of mode is very important because right here is a counter mode. This basically tells you your exact position within the song, but you can look at it through different ways. You can look at it from bars and beats. You can look at it from hours, minutes. You could also look at it by frames. You can do it by feet and frames. A lot of different things. Some of these are for um, video and some of these are for music. When you're looking at the screen, by pressing this button, this also changes the view on your screen. So when you're like cutting and pasting, usually a lot of people like to use the bars and the beats. These bars and the beats are basically letting you see the measures. So when you want to take your first hook and you want to also flag it to after the verse, it's very easy when you're looking at the bars and beats because then you can grab things in sync with the tempo and move it to a place and have it still be in sync with the tempo.